It is good to see Gabe Vincent again. We're getting used to this after games, Gabe, getting to see you after some big performances. I usually keep my distance for today, it's though, for being hot in that third quarter. I want to take you back to that third quarter where you got in that zone. What was that like where it seemed like every shot you took was going to go in? I don't know, man. Everything felt good. I wanted to be aggressive. Uh, blacked out a little bit, and the ball just kept going in. So I just kept being aggressive. Guys kept finding me. For whatever reason, they kept leaving me, and I was open. This team has shown so much resiliency night in and night out. Tonight, defensively again, that first quarter, you only allowed 19. You came after that energy. How much does that really set the tone of what you guys want to do night in and night out? It absolutely sets the tone. I've talked about it before, how we want to get to do that all four quarters. Um, you know, and we slip up every now and then. This team's really comfortable playing uh, when they're down a lot of leads. So they've come back a lot the last few weeks. So we want to finish the game and close it out right. Gabe, I talked to every guy that is maybe getting some more time because a player is out about not wanting to have to be that guy. But in the 16 games, I think now that you've started with Kyle out, 12 and 4. I'm not saying you're Kyle, but you're certainly doing your part. What is it like to try to keep the team afloat offensively with Kyle out? Uh, it's a challenge. It's, it's a challenge. I've embraced. I've been fun with it. Guys are helping me out. Staff's helping me out. Uh, you know, I'm not doing it by myself. It's a little bit by committee. Jimmy's handling a lot. Bam's handling a lot. Uh, but we're definitely looking forward to getting Kyle back, and we miss him. Last question. You're right back at it tomorrow night. It's good to be home, though, right? Absolutely. What's it like to play in front of this crowd and to be back at it in 24 hours? It's, it's always fun, man. It's always fun. I love playing FTX. I love playing for our fans. Uh, you know, like I said, game's back to back. We got a good one tomorrow, so we've got to get some rescue ready for that. And here with Duncan Robinson following another heat win inside the FTX Arena. Duncan, for you, it's I know for you it's always just keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. But when they come in the way they have of late, the last four, 22 of 39 from three. I know you're not counting as you go, but what is that rhythm like when you're in that kind of zone? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, it's it's always nice to, to find a little rhythm like that. Um, credit to my teammates finding me in spots yeah. to, to be successful, and I just try to, you know, let it fly. Whether they're falling or not, just continue to, you know, stay process-driven and, and just keep shooting. We talked a lot with other guys and with you as well about how it's contagious, and tonight was one of those nights. You got it going early, then Gabe comes in in the third quarter, oh, hits yeah. big shots. What's that like when, you know, this team, a lot of part of the success has to do with rebound shooting, but when you as a team get in that flow? Yeah, that was a huge boost for us. Uh, uh, Gabe to start that second half obviously to, to string together a series of makes like that is uh, always fun to see and, and like you said it can be contagious so uh, you know we got a lot of guys that can fill it up from deep so a lot of times it's just a matter of kind of who has a rolling. It's a nice feeling when you're on top of the east and you're still getting guys back and yet there are moments where within a game where you're trying to learn and one yeah. of those is trying to finish. What are you guys learning about yourself in these moments? You're still coming up with wins, but trying yeah. to really close out the opponent. Yeah, it's a huge emphasis for us right now. Um, you know, we've had a lot of stretches where we put together really good three quarters and haven't really figured it out yet in the fourth. But, you know, I also got to give some credit to, to a team like, uh, you know, the Clippers tonight. You know, they do a really good job making it ugly. They've, they've come back a bunch um, this year. So for us to just still to, to hold them off and, and learn, but also get a win is big. Final question, you're back at it less than 24 hours. Yes, What's the key in keeping that going tomorrow? And, and keep this momentum you guys are riding. Uh, get some good sleep, get some recovery, and uh, just lock in on the game plan tomorrow when, once we uh, you know, go through the walkthrough and uh, just go out and compete. I don't know about the recovery, but the sleep sounds good right now. All so right. it's good to see there you. We'll go. see you tomorrow there night. Um, same type. You told us last time, if you have to have big leads and you have to sh find a way to close games out, you'll take it every time. To that end, to see Tyler step up and, of course, PJ step up with his three, still a good feeling coming out of it because of closing time again? Uh, yes, I mean, there was uh, definitely some sloppy play uh, once we got up uh, 20. Um, you know, started with a turnover, then led to transition, then a bunch of fouls, a bunch of turnovers, and they uh, crawled right back into the game. Uh, but look, you also have to really give the Clippers credit. Um, you know, I think Ty has just done an amazing job with that group, uh, with the adversity they have. It's a hard playing competitive group they do not ever stop um you know we knew that going into it didn't matter what the complexion of the game would be uh that this would have to be earned all the way to the last second um and that proved to be true um so there's definitely some things we can clean up in uh in terms of the fouling and um and the turnovers versus pressure but uh, you know again i just think these experiences for our, our ball club are, are really important to go through uh the guys hearts are in the right place um you know, uh, from our perspective, we didn't feel like we, we played well once we had that lead. But, uh, again, I think you have to credit the other side for a lot of that.
talked a lot over the, in the past few weeks about Gabe's growth as a point guard. How important has it been over this past week or two with Kyle out, obviously, and him kind of needing to play more minutes in that role? I mean, it, it's just so um, it's just so fun to see uh, his progress. Um, you know, and I've said this, you know, so many times. Uh, I, I I don't think there's many young players uh, that would take on this kind of role change. Um, and I think all of his minutes uh, that he played last year were really important um, uh, just to really embrace what this role actually would look like. Um, and it was an uncomfortable process, but he bought in 100%, uh, no questions. There was no, you know, second guessing. Uh, he knew that it would be a, a process with it. Uh, but, um, you know, he's just grown so much. Uh, and then, you know, when you have nights like this where you really need his scoring, well, you just rewind to, you know, who he used to be. Uh, but now he's added so many other dimensions to his game. He's just a, a really tough, hard-nosed defender. Um that can guard multiple positions, but now he can organize uh, your offense for you. I feel very comfortable when, when Gabe is, is, is running the offense um, that he can get the ball where, where it needs to go. Eric, it's a couple games in a row now where the first quarter defense has just been spectacular. What has been the difference in that, and how much is that a key, obviously, to get you guys going offensively to play that type of defense early? Well, the guys understand that it's uh, important to set the tone. Uh, you know, I think it does matter, you know, having Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo back out there. You know, they just make us uh, much different. You know, we're, we're very unique with with both those guys. Um, you know, I thought it was good for us to go through that development period where we had to go to, to other things uh, without them. Uh, but Bam allows us to do just a lot of dynamic things, and, and Jimmy on the weak side... Uh, you know, it was special. He he can really make some 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 things happen back there. He can be in two places uh, at one time. Uh, you know, I'd like to see that consistency. Uh, you know, f throughout the the game. You know, where we can defend. Uh, it's not a matter of, of effort or lack of focus. I, I just think we need to clean up a few things, uh, particularly keeping uh, teams off the foul line. Jimmy getting to the foul line, how it settles the team, and he sort of knows he could do that. To do a 16 of 16 tonight and what he did, how settling is for the is that for the team? And also, you always talk about relief points. It seems when you needed them, Jimmy got to the That's line. That's a major uh, weapon, and I think that neutralizes a lot of runs. So even though they crawled back uh, into this game, uh, his free throws during the course of the game held off probably, you know, three, four, five runs. Uh, just kind of got everybody settled. Uh, and he has a way of doing it, you know, without, you know, all the flopping and, um, you know, trickery. He's he's just attacking and, and playing angles and, you know, he's physical. He knows how to uh, to get to the basket. And when he draws contact, uh, you know, he's still strong enough and powerful enough to get a shot up there. I actually thought, I'm not going to complain or anything about it, but I thought he could have had, you know, uh, two or three more trips to the line. Just looking at Duncan's screening, it looks like that was a big reason for the run in the third, just on and off the ball, just getting guys open looks. Just how key is that for the offense when when things are rolling, guys are hitting shots, that screening? Yeah. How have you seen it in, improve game over game? Your yeah, well, you know, that, that process started last year. You know, he is one one of our our better screeners, and, um, you know, he's been very intentional uh, about improving in that area because that does create some, some movement and some confusion sometimes. Um, and oftentimes that uh, he ends up being the guy that's open from that confusion, uh, but it allows us to to work other triggers of our offense. Bam, um, with Gabe, you know, he's had to play his point guard role, be more facilitator tonight. He made, I think, seven threes or so. Um, what, what's it like to see him go back to his roots and play the role of score, scorer tonight? Uh, he He has that capability, you know, watching him in the Olympics, and then also I watched him in Stockton when we were trying to get him. He has that capability to put that ball in the basket. I will say that. But he's just playing within his role, and he's just being a star at it. Bam, games like this, Coach is telling us, look, I, if we if it has to come to the end and we still can find a way to have our poise at the moments of ultimate ultimate truth, I'll take it. So is, is that sort of how you're looking at these games of finding a way? 
Jimmy has 16 free throws. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things like we got to learn how to play with leads, uh, big leads at that matter. You know, we got to learn how to not let them come back, you know, get those timely stops and get those timely buckets where, you know, it creates that distance. I'm sort of like the Lakers the other night, the Clippers. Part, a big part of their run was they downsize. Is there any adjustment you guys had to make to those smaller lineups, or was it just, you know, they caught fire? They just caught fire, in, in my opinion. I, I wouldn't say it was it was the lineup. You know, Kennard hit a, a couple tough threes, and that, that got the team going. Bam, you mentioned earlier being, you know, how guarded, like being guarded by smaller guys wasn't really a part of the, the process there as far as the Clippers coming back. You were matched up versus Justice towards the end there. Was it cool to play against them again? And as far as <laughs> matching up versus smaller guys, is that something you enjoy? Is that something you enjoy the the, the opportunity of getting? Uh, it, it, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, at the end of the day, as long as we win, that's what really, what really matters. But uh, I did seeing seeing Justice. It was good to see him. You know, it seems like he in good spirits. He seemed like he happy in LA. Bam, um, the guys did it for you in the seven weeks you were out, and you guys did it when Jimmy was out with his injuries. How sort of rewarding is it to you guys that Kyle's been away from the team and you found a way to hold things down in his absence so he can take care of life and you guys are sort of picking up the slack there? I think it's now 5-1 and one in his absence this time. We, everybody on our roster wants to win. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's, that's the only answer I got for you. Everybody wants to win and everybody's going to do everything in their power to get that job done. And does it sort of make it easier or for your guys that, you know, you're able to do it for them, just like they were able to do it for you, you know, that we got, we'll hold down the fort? Yeah. It definitely makes it easier on Kyle knowing we're winning and he, and he, and he has time to, to focus on his, his personal problems or, or personal reasonings. And he can take his time. Jimmy, can I pick that up with you, especially someone like you who's so close to Kyle, to let a guy know, take care of life, We've, we're holding this down. And you guys have done that all year. When you were out, when Bam was out, when other guys were in COVID, how sort of rewarding is it for your guys that, hey, take your time, we got this? Uh, I think it's always really important to realize basketball is second, third, if not, you know, um, around that area on people's list of importance. You always got to make sure the family's good, yourself is good. And it just feels good to know that we got guys that can step in and do what Kyle does for us. Um, but I miss him. We all miss him. But we want him to, him and his family to be okay. Jimmy, just looking at your off-ball doubles, was a play early in the game when Zubak kind of looked the other way. You came in, made the steal, got a dunk out of it. Is that just as simple? It seems like a skill of yours. Is that just as simple as a timely gamble? Or is there something you're noticing in the play, like it's specifically when a big kind of turns away? Uh, I'm probably going to gamble anytime somebody's throwing a ball into the elbow. Spo calls it timely gambling, but I'm a, I'm a reckless gambler. But what's crazy is my teammates know that I'm going to gamble, so even whenever I mess it up, a lot of the times, I almost said a cuss word, um, they're always there to, like, rotate and, and help me get back in the, the right position and on defense. So as much as I gamble, my guys are there whenever I do mess it up. You guys have shot over 40% on threes for the past three games. It's always good when shots go in, but what do you like about the way you guys are generating those looks and the offense is running right now? We let them fly. Uh, we shot 34 tonight. Yeah, 33 if you don't count mine. So I feel like we, we got guys that are confident. Gabe got hot. Um, he's talking trash to me while he's in the step back threes, which to this day I don't understand it. But uh, we like that. We like guys confident. Um, shooting the right shots. You know, if you think that you can make it, by all means, shoot it. And uh, I feel like we still got to get 16 more. So next game, I guess I got to shoot 17 threes instead of one to, to get to 50. Jimmy, you guys wound up winning both games, of course, but both the Clippers and the Lakers, they made their late pushes, downsizing, switching one through five. Are those lineups, like, are they presenting any problems or is it just the ebb and flow of the game? Uh, no, nah, I mean, we turned the ball over. 
Uh, Devman got a tech. It's his fault. Then a delay a game. It's his fault. But uh, like I said, you know, we missed shots. We turned the ball over. We weren't guarding. And then, you know, they, they make the run. But that's basketball as a whole. It is a game of runs. We withstood that. And we did what we were supposed to do at home, and that was win the game. Gabe, um, we've talked a lot about your growth as a point guard, obviously, and, and you did that tonight. But also you, you were a scorer as well. You hit a lot of threes, especially in that third quarter. What what, what was that kind of like to return to your roots and and put up 12 threes like you were back in the G League? Yeah, yeah I mean, it was fun. I, I didn't even know I put up 12 of them. Um, I know in the third, I was trying to be aggressive early. Um, you know, Jimmy was drawing a lot of attention. So I just took my shots as they came. And as they started to fall, I started to look for them more and more. And uh, guys just continued to find me. And uh, they went in. So obviously that always makes it better. Yeah, I, I had just asked Bam and uh, Jimmy about this also. You guys have done a really good job of when a guy's out, take your time. Most of the guys with injuries, some guys with COVID, Kyle now with a personal situation. How meaningful is that to you guys that you can let guys take care of other things? We got you covered. You're five and one now with you starting in this latest time with Kyle spending time away for personal reasons. How rewarding is that? How significant is that? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I, th I feel like I've talked about it time and time again. Uh, as we get down this stretch towards the playoffs, we're going to need everyone, the whole roster. You know, you never know who's going to need be someone to step up. Um, and, and during these times that we can be uh, effective and, and win games while we have key players out, it's huge, you know. But uh, speaking on Kyle, we can't wait to get him back and um, hopefully soon enough here. And especially because it is a personal matter. I mean, you know, we've all been through those. How good does it feel to take your time? You know, there's more important things than absolutely, this. Absolutely, absolutely. Whatever the case may be, take care. We got to take care of. Um, we're going to hold it down, you know, until you get back and um, until then. Gabe, okay, Spoh's been heaping credit on you lately for being willing to adjust your role and kind of redefine your game over the past two years. How difficult was that journey, especially knowing that this was like your shot in the NBA and you're trying to change your entire game, you're trying to change your shot, and how much more rewarding does that make performances like this, knowing what the journey's been? Wow, um, incredibly rewarding, first of all. Incredibly rewarding. You put a lot of work in, a lot of effort. Um, so whenever it pays off, it's, it's always reassuring. You know, there's a lot of dark days, a lot of days where you weren't seeing any progress. It seems like you're just chipping away and, that you know, you're not chipping away at anything anymore. Um, but there were some adjustments made, um, you know, for the better, obviously, and just try to carve my niche out and continue to grow as a player um, in many different ways. And I think I've done that so far, and I'm eager to continue to grow.